Microsoft Teams and Assignments. In this video, I'll be looking at how to set up an assignment and what it looks like from a student point of view. Now, it doesn't matter which team or channel you're in, just go ahead and find that Assignments button on the left-hand side, then click the Create button down there in the bottom left-hand corner, and then select Assignment. I do have Quiz, and from existing, so I'm guessing that uses the Microsoft Forms for the quiz, and from existing, it probably uses like templates or old assignments and quizzes that you've used, but I don't have anything. So I'm gonna go for assignment here. And then I'm gonna select the class that I want to assign that to. So select my media class, click next. And then I'm gonna put in the details as required. Also put in the title and instructions. Uh, you can add additional resources by pressing the add resources button. If you've got a rubric, which is really handy, you can also put that in and allocate some points. Um, I'm guessing here you can then select if you want to put it to another class as well, you can do assign to. Uh, this is pretty cool actually if some students are missing or if you just want to target specific students with an assignment, you can just select their names in there. And of course you have your date and time that it's due. Then this really cool option at the bottom about late handings, and I would always allow them, but of course that's down to your personal choice. I made sure I put in this little statement here so my students don't get worried um, with this assignment, so it's only a test one for them. So I'm gonna assign that, and now my assignment has been assigned. Okay, so what does this look like from a student's point of view? Hmm. Okay, well I asked Friday the cat earlier, so let's go over and see what he has to say. Currently, students do not get an email notification for a new assignment, but someone has uh, mentioned this in Microsoft's user voice platform. Let's have a look at Friday's Teams in Google Chrome here. Uh, okay, cool, he, so he's got that assignment, it's just appeared up in the general channel and then let's click on view. Oh, interesting, okay, so this is what it looks like. So. Got the title, do not submit. It is a test, that's great that it's a bold and it's really obvious. Got the due date, instructions and so on. Okay, I like that view. And I'm guessing here this is just the ad work. And so if we click on that, so they can select files that are in their OneDrive. Friday doesn't have anything. Uh, they can also start a file directly from there. So that's pretty awesome. We got Word, PowerPoint and Excel. So you can add in a link to a resource. So if they've uploaded a video to Microsoft Stream, for example, they can put that in there or just a OneDrive link. Also, you got upload from device, so if it's not any of the ones mentioned above, we can just upload like a keynote file, for example. And then we've got this Teams button, so I'm just interested to see what happens when I click on this. Ah, so this is actually files stored inside Teams, uh, of which I don't have any, or Friday doesn't have any, so he's not going to attach anything from in there. So that's pretty awesome. That's a pretty cool uh, way to see how students actually see the assignment when it's uh, given to them, and of course, all the options that are available for them. So, thank you for watching this video on how to create an assignment in Microsoft Teams, and also what that assignment looks like from a student's point of view. See you next time. So I went on to Microsoft's user voice website and find that someone has already requested the email notification for new assignments.